we can put the cub kaput squarely in the wind column. So the next thing to work on is going to be uh, getting these chainsaws going. So this little fella here is running not too bad. It's very oily. If I read the directions, it suggests a half pint to one gallon oil to gas, which is like 15 to one. It's very oily. Um, this other one has scratched in on it 20 to one mix, which is still pretty oily. Everyone I've talked to suggests maybe something more like a, a 40 to one. So I'm going to run that at least um, and without the spark arrester to see uh, if it cleans up a little bit. It just seems to really kind of choke out um, and plug itself up on oil. I also want to put in this, I guess it's a 14 inch uh, bar and chain go with a 14 inch rather than the 12 so that's next change it out and then uh, fill up the bar oil reservoir put some fresh gas in it and take it out and cut some wood Probably worth mentioning that uh, this one has the sharpening mechanism on it so you pull it back and then you go kind of back and forth and it's supposed to sharpen the chain but that stone is long gone so it's not going to do anything we're just not going to mess with that at all now I can tell already that we're going to have to lose this roll pin Get rid of all of this. Well, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it, but nevertheless, you know what I mean. bunch okay we'll fine-tune that once we get the cover back on the other one also has kind of that roll pin is actually for a built-in kind of chain adjuster mechanism I might switch over to that maybe probably not Seems kind of unnecessary. Whoa, that's pretty tight. That's going to be okay right there. All right. Dry as a bone. One doesn't take much. <laughs> oh, see, now we're over full. Just like that.
Now, it's like, I don't know, it's pretty late at night, so really it would be kind of inappropriate to uh, take this outside and go ripping around with it. So that's going to wait till uh, tomorrow at least. Kind of looking forward to that though. I got some things to clean up. Well, I think even the most diehard fan of big saws would have to admit that this little guy cleaned up really nicely. Even got our proud Canadian uh, sticker on there from Royal Reserve Whiskey, which is uh, kind of an Alberta classic. So I guess, uh, I don't know, let's see how she fires up one last time. going to work just fine. Might need to bump the idle speed up a little bit, but generally speaking. I think we're in pretty good shape. <laughs> just been popping this cover off and adjusting up the idle speed bit by bit. If you're pulling off this cover, make sure the choke is in the on position. And then it's really easy to just line it back up when you put it on. You won't have any of those problems like what brought it here in the first place. It works okay, it cuts okay, but uh, just still not quite running as nicely as I'd like. Um, won't really stay idling, kind of dies off when it's just sitting for a bit. So I think next... Uh, Next thing to do is just pop the carburetor off. It looks like it's only two screws. Oh, hello, that was loose. Could that be... <laughs> Could that be our issue? Could that be our issue? Um, hmm. Now we can't really operate the choke when it's... tight. Uh, okay, I think we got it there. Well, that could, <laughs> that could have been it. Um, hmm, interesting. That could make all the difference. Let's see if that's the case. That could be all the difference. <laughs> that could be all the difference. That would explain why it was so kind of back and forth, like it would work and then it wouldn't work and it was kind of all over the place. The Craftsman slash Poulan micro saw. I took it out yesterday and I cut a little bit of wood with it and it, uh, it does run okay it cuts okay but it doesn't stay idling so I took the carb out um, I did clean it I can get rebuild kits for it or gasket kits anyway normally I would just replace the whole carb but I can't get a whole carb for this uh, it's just not available through Walbro or any repops or anything like that so I cleaned everything up I did find some passages that I think were plugged and so I'm going to uh, See if it'll idle now. In light of that, we'll embark upon Project John Sori. So this is a John Sored string trimmer. The price was right, but uh, apparently doesn't like to run. We can start finding out the reasons for that without making too much noise. Chances are it's fuel related. Plug looks okay. This looks remarkably similar to 
weed whacker, actually. I'm going to grab my plug tester. Or ignition system tester, I guess. <sighs> You've seen this thing plenty of times. is on. Before that popped off, I saw a spark, so I'm not too worried about that. So it's probably, as always, fuel. Pretty familiar. It's another Walbro, of course. These lines are crusty and there's bugs. I wonder what we would find if we went into the fuel tank. This is like a tether to hold the, <laughs> the fuel cap on. That's what it was. Still hear a lot of flapping around and I think it's that, that pickup. I can't see it. Oh, there it is. So that could very well be the issue uh, if that falls off and it's it's weighted, right? It's heavy and it sits at the bottom of the tank, so it's always picking up fuel. With this no longer attached, which happens pretty frequently, then the line floats up, might curl up, whatever, and not pick up fuel anymore. So that's probably most of our problem right there. All right, just taking apart the carb on the John Sered here and uh, I've got the new fuel lines and new pickup in there and everything, so that's all taken care of. But uh, I guess when your pickup falls off, you're pulling in unfiltered fuel. Look at that. It's full of... Oh, came out all in a nice chunk, just like sand or something. So that's not going to run so great. And this diaphragm is pretty, I don't know, pretty crispy. So... I think, ah, mosquito, I think I'm going to have to get a kit for this. It's actually otherwise fairly clean and nice looking, but uh, just, uh, just old. John, sorry, I got lazy, just decided to see how it would go without rebuilding that carb without throwing a kit in it. So I've left that diaphragm in there. Um, it was pretty clean, so, you know, all the passages look good and everything, so um, Filled it up actually overfilled it and spilled everywhere with some fresh 40 to 1 So I'm just gonna see if it fires up at all if it seems to want to run I'm not gonna bother tuning it or anything right now, but just see if it wants to run
know we're in the ballpark. Just need some tuning. But we're in the ballpark.